Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this HTML gallery using HTML, CSS and Lightbox. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create our folder structure. I've got three folders, one for CSS, one for my images and one for the JavaScript. Inside of images, I've downloaded 10 pictures, which I've renamed one to 10 and I've got these pictures from Unsplash. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create thumbnails of these pictures. So what I'm going to do is I've downloaded a program which is called Windows Image Resizer and now I can right click and I can resize these pictures. I'm just going to use a custom resize and I only want to worry about the width of the pixels and I'm going to set that to 250. Once I've done that, it will resize your images for you and you can see here that this image is 369 by 250 whereas the original image is 5815 by 3960. So it's a considerably smaller file size. Once we've done that, then we need to open up Dreamweaver and we need to create a new document. We're going to create a new HTML document and I'm just going to click on create. So the first thing is we need to change the title. So this is going to be our image gallery. So now once we've put in our image gallery for our title, I need to save this document. So I'm just going to press Control S to save and I'm going to make sure that I'm in my folder where the rest of my CSS images and JavaScript are and I'm going to call it index.html. Now once I've done that, I need to create a new CSS document. So I'm going to create another document, CSS, and this time I'm going to call this one style dot CSS and I'm going to place it in the CSS folder. So now I'm going to click save. So now if I look in my folder structure in CSS, I have style and in my root directory, I have index.html. So now what we need to do is I'm going to go within the head tags in my HTML document. So now I'm going to link that CSS document. So I'm going to open up the tag link and then I'm going to write REL and then I'm going to write style sheet and then I'm going to set the type to text and CSS and then I'm going to put our link in there which is href and then I'm going to look for it in the CSS folder and I'm going to make sure that I've picked style.css and then I'm going to close that off. So now I'm going to save that. So now what we need to do is we need to add our images in here. So I'm going to come down to the body and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a heading for our image gallery. So this is using the H1 tag. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a div class and this div class is going to be called gallery. And then I'm going to close that off and I'm going to put the ending div at the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert our images into our gallery. So we're going to do this by writing IMG and then SRC and then I'm pressing enter and now we can go and find our images. Now I don't want the full size image, I want the thumbnail image so I'm going to pick my custom ones. And so once I've got that, then I will need to copy and paste that code 10 times and then rename all those files again for each image that I have. So I'm just going to do that now quickly. So now if I preview that, you can see I've got my heading one uh, tag up there and I've got all my images in uh, this index.html. So that's looking pretty cool. Now we have to move to the CSS document. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and open up my CSS document. You can either do it this way through the code or you can go to style.css. Just make sure it's the same document. So once I've done that, the first thing that I need to do is I need to come over here and we're going to set up the body. So we're going to set the margin to zero pixels and we are also going to set padding to zero pixels also. Now we're going to choose a gradient for the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this website which is called UI Gradients and I'm going to choose the gradient color that I want and then I'm just going to come over here and get the CSS code. So all I have to do is copy that and I'm going to paste that into my CSS. Now if I save that, go back to my index.html, you can see that the background has changed and that's looking pretty good. So now let's do 
more code. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our H1 tag. This is how we want it to look. So I'm just gonna come and set the color and I'm gonna set the color to white. So that's FFF, FFF, and then semicolon. The font family is going to be, I'm gonna use railway. So I'm just gonna come over here and write railway. And then I will also write uh, sans serif. Okay. And so now if I save that, you can see that the font and the color have changed in that H1 tag. So we're just gonna keep on adding some things and you're free to experiment with whatever settings you like but I'm going to set that to 62 pixels and then I'm going to set the width to 800 and then I'm going to set the line height to also 72 pixels and then I'm going to write text transform and I'm going to transform it to all uppercase press semicolon and then I'm going to change the background color so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to set that to black. You can set it to whatever you want. And I'm also going to change the letter spacing to negative two pixels. And I'm going to also add a margin in here. So the margin will be 30 pixels. Then I'll press zero and 50 pixels and then end that. So I'm going to save that, refresh. And now we've got our image gallery inside this box over here. So if I bring it smaller, you can see what's happening there. So it's looking pretty cool. So now what we are going to do is we are going to look at our gallery. All right, so we're gonna open up our gallery. We're gonna open up our curly brackets and I'm gonna write align content and we'll put that into the center. And then again, we'll set up a margin and then we will put 10 pixels as well as 110 pixels and then we'll close that off. So now if I save that, all right, you can see that now we're pushing that gallery into the center of that document. And this is a bit zoomed out so it will look better on a full screen. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the images. So we are going to go and uh, write gallery IMG, open up our curly bracket, and now we're gonna write width. And the width is going to be 230 pixels. And then the padding is also going to be five pixels. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna put a filter on this. So the filter that I want is, I want a grayscale filter and I want this to be probably about 80% grayscale. So we can see a little bit of color on the images and the transition is going to be, we'll keep it at around about, let's say one second. So now if I save that and if I refresh that, so now you can see that the images are kind of grayed out and we've set the width of all the images to these settings here with a little bit of padding in between. So moving on, the next thing that we need to do is we're going to create a hover effect. So when we highlight one of these uh, images, it will, you know, make it a little bit bigger. So to do that, what we need to do is we're just going to write dot gallery to start. We're going to have IMG and then we are going to have hover. So now once we've got our hover settings in there, we are just going to open the curly brackets and then we are going to put filter and we'll change the grayscale back to zero and I'll just close that off. And then the transform also, we will transform the scale and I'll put this to one point, let's say two, something like that. And then I'll close that off and save it. So now if I refresh that, okay, you can see that every time I hover over the pictures, they kind of get bigger. So that hover is probably a bit too big. So I'm just going to bring it down to, let's say 0.1. And so now if I refresh that, 
so now the pictures don't go inside of each other. So that's looking pretty good. So now once you've done all of that, you set up the HTML and CSS, now you need to download Lightbox. So you can download Lightbox from here and then it will take you to a GitHub website where you can download the source code. Once you have that set up, then you will need to open it up. I'm using WinRAR here and you will need to open up all of the files and extract it somewhere to your computer. The files that we need to worry about are in this document here. So the DIST. And so what we need to do is we need to firstly come over here and we need to get this lightbox min.css. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it to my computer. So now I've put it into my CSS folder. All right. And so we're going to do the same thing again for the JavaScript. And for the JavaScript, we need to make sure we are using the jQuery min JavaScript file. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it to my JavaScript directory. So if I look in there, I've got JavaScript in there. And the final thing that we're going to do while we're here is we need to go to images and I'm just going to grab these all these images and then dump them into my images folder. This is the navigation for the light box and you can see that they are here. Close, loading, next and preview. If you don't have these images, it will still work. You just won't see these icons and you can change these icons to whatever you like. So once I've got that, we need to then go back into our code. So now we need to go into our index.html and we need to make sure that we're linking those scripts and the other external style sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add another link, REL, and then this one's also going to be a style sheet and the type is going to be text CSS. And this time when we link it, I'm going to go into my CSS folder and then I'm going to pick up this lightbox min.css and then I'm going to close that off. Now, the final thing that we need to do is we need to add the script. So I'm just going to come over here and write script and then I'm going to write type and the type of script that we are going to be using is a text JavaScript. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the source for this script and I'm going to find it in the JS folder. So it's going to be JS Lightbox plus jQuery and then I'm going to close that off. So now once I close that off, and if I save that, that will now link all of these images to these two files here. Now, nothing has changed because we need to add some extra HTML code. So to do this, what we need to do is we need to now add the links to the larger graphics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here on the first line of code in my gallery. I'm going to write a H R E F. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse for that first image. So now I'm going to actually pick one dot JPEG. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write some stuff, which Lightbox will allow us to do. So I'm going to write data and then I'm going to write Lightbox, And then I'm going to write equals. And then inside of the quotations, I'm going to call this my gallery and then after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to write data and then i'm going to write title and then inside the title it's you can call the picture whatever you want so in the first picture i'm going to call it let's say the wonderful mountain and then once i've done that all i have to do is just close off that tag and then i'm going to move this um, closing tag to the end of that line of code. So it looks something like that. And now if I save that and refresh my website, you can see over here, if I click on this, now it opens up that large file with a caption at the bottom and it's looking pretty cool. So now all I have to do is just change all of these other lines of code to add those things in. So the easiest thing to start with is just look, I'll just um, I'll just put this uh, 10 times this uh, closing bracket. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste that first link. And then I'm just going to duplicate it 10 times. And now once I've duplicated it 10 times, then you will need to change the images. 
So the second line of code is going to be number two, and this is going to be called, you know, the wonderful cliff. And then the third one is going to be three, and I think you get the idea. So I'll just do this quickly for you guys. And so once you've renamed and made sure that every image is the right one for the thumbnail, you can save that and then you can go back to your website and preview it. So if I preview what that looks like, I can come over here and then I can click on one of these uh, images. You can see my icons are all working here and then I can click and it will move around as well. So the final thing I want to do is I just want to center my text. So I'm just going to come back to my H1 and I'm just going to write text align and I'm just going to put that into the center. So I'm just going to save that and there we go. So anyways guys, that is a quick tutorial on how to add a lightbox gallery to your HTML and CSS websites. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.